Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 14 home screen widgets that you can get on your device right now and you probably never heard of. Now most of these will be new widgets that have recently been released and you probably didn't even get a chance to know about them. Now home screen widgets on iOS 14 are kind of cool but most of them are actually not that useful so in this video i try to put some really cool ones that are actually useful and will display some useful information on the home screen of your ios 14 device now before we get into that make sure to smash that like button that helps out a lot and of course makes this channel do much much better so make sure you leave a like and enjoy the video let's first take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video nordvpn if you're looking for a vpn VPN solution for your iPhone and other devices, NordVPN is by far the best one, with an easy to use interface that lets you connect with one click, or enable the auto connect feature to connect automatically. With more than 5,300 servers in 60 different countries, you can find servers near you for better speed or one in a faraway location for more content. You can run NordVPN in up to 6 different devices and it will support every major platform like Android, Windows ios mac os linux and it will also work on your android tv and of course it has some amazing features like the automatic kill switch which blocks the device from accessing the web if the vpn connection accidentally drops you can unblock your favorite games and geo-restricted servers so that your location doesn't limit where you can play and of course you can unblock entertainment websites that are restricted in your area so make sure you give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the video or use the coupon i reviews to get a two-year plan with a four-month additional bonus gift all right we're starting with the first one it is called phone usage now it basically shows you all kinds of different information regarding the usage of your iphone it has a lot of different widgets and of course all the different sizes now you can see we have four different ones right here so we have one for the ram memory it shows you the active the inactive and of course the free ram memory you will get there one for your wi-fi network so it shows you your ip it shows you the download and the upload on your wi-fi and then we have one for the battery here it shows the percentage the charging state and whether you have low power mode on or off and then it shows you here on the other one all kinds of different information regarding the battery the cpu usage as well as the ram memory usage and as i said it has a lot more so you can go ahead and add a lot more widgets from this app Next up is Activity Plus. Now this one is a paid app, but it's really useful. It will show you all kinds of different informations regarding your activity. Something that the activity widget won't do on your iPhone, the default one of course. Now this one right here, it shows you your steps and it shows you the distance. And then right here we'll have your latest workout. It shows you all kinds of different information regarding the latest workout. And then we have here a medium one, which shows you the calories burned, your exercise, the standing hours, the steps, as well as the distance that you have walked. Now you will have the chance to add more from this app. It has quite a lot of widgets. Next up is Phone Widget. Now this one allows you to have your favorite contacts right on your home screen so you don't have to go through your phone app to look for your contacts and call them. Now you can have the medium one with four different contacts, the single one right here, and you can have even the biggest one with up to 10 different contacts. And of course you can just tap on them and you will be able to call them directly from here. Now if you go into the app, all you gotta do is just create the widget by tapping the plus button. And then once you go into the widget, you can go ahead and add Add your contacts from here you can name the widget and then of course here customize the look of the widget now once you have added this widget on the home screen you go ahead and 3d touch on it tap on edit widget and choose which of the widgets that you have created you want to actually show right here on the on the widget on the home screen just go ahead and pick one and they will be displayed right here Next up, we have Web Widget. Now, this one is really interesting. It might not be useful for everyone, but if you need to have a web page directly on the home screen of your device, you can do that with this widget. Now, what it does, it just basically lets you open any website that you want and then place that on your widget. Now, what you can do here is just go ahead and 3D touch on this and tap on edit widget. Now right here you can select the website which of course you have added through the app and then you can enable the bottom bar which shows you the refresh rate which is 
10 minutes right here you can of course go ahead and pick here any like different interval you want from 10 minutes up to two hours and then of course the the website that is displayed on the widget will be refreshed during those minutes and you will see it right here so you can see the time when it has last been refreshed so you can basically put a website right on your home screen next up we have widget maker now this one is a widget that allows you to have photos on the home screen of your device of course there are a ton of these widgets on the app store but this one is one that i really really like so you go into the app and you create a new widget on that one you go ahead and add the photos you can add the photos of course from here so you go ahead and tap on images tap the plus button and add photos now right here we'll have the refresh interval so you can choose how fast you want to refresh the photos on the home screen and then you can also go ahead and add custom text you can add the date like you can see it right there you can change it from here of course and then you can also customize that anything can be customized here the font the size of course the color and you can also align that on any position you want and once you're done with that that will be displayed right on the home screen of your device of course alongside with the photos that you have chosen next up is cpu x now this one is also really interesting it offers a ton of different widgets of course of all different sizes now right here we have three of them we have two small ones this one right here just shows you the information of your iPhone so basically it shows you the name of the iPhone the model the weight and the release date of your iPhone's model right there you can see the usage of your data so you will have the cellular data right there and right there you will have your Wi-Fi data so you can see that's for today you have the same one here but on a bigger like widget and it shows you this graphics right here that show you how much you have used your data and of course you can add more of these with all kinds of different informations regarding the usage of your device next up is special dates now with special dates you will be able to have your events right on your home screen these are countdowns that show you when something will happen of course that you have added through the app so we have all kinds of different sizes here here we have three different ones so we have the medium one with three different countdowns and we have a smaller one with three different countdowns as well and then we have a single one which will show you the latest countdown that you have added on the app now right here you can see the title of the countdown as well as the date when it will happen and you can also add like a little icon right here to indicate the type of countdown that you have added and right here you will have the number of days that are left until that event happens now you just go into the app and tap the plus button right there from here you can go ahead and create any countdown that you want and of course then that will be displayed right on the home screen of your device via the home screen widgets now you can see right here you have event type you can go ahead and choose these types or you can go to emoji and use any emoji that you want as the icon for that event that emoji then will be displayed right here alongside the name of the event next up we have s clock now this is a widget that will display all kinds of different clocks on the home screen of your device now the way it works is that you can make these transparent as you can see these are transparent this one is not i will show you guys how to make it in a second now the way to do this is just go to the edit mode and just swipe to the last page of your home screen once you go to the last page you just go ahead of course you make sure that there are no icons here you just take a screenshot and now you're good to go you go into the app go to settings right here and then go to widget clear background and right here just tap and load that screenshot from the app from the photos library of your iphone once you have done that then just go back to the home screen 3d touch on the widget that you want to make transparent and then go to edit widget right here just tap on background tap on default right there and choose clear now it will have to set the position so here we have horizontal we go ahead and pick left you set the position in which the widget is and then we have vertical we go ahead and choose top and once we have done that you will see that will turn into a transparent clock which looks really really good now if you go to the widgets panel you will find like 
seven or eight different clocks that you can add from this widget. Next is subs widget. Now this one allows you to track the subscribers of a YouTube channel. So if you have a YouTube channel or you just want to put there like the subscribers of your favorite channel, you can do that with this app. So it offers two different sizes, the medium and the smaller one. You go into the app and right here enter the channel name or channel ID. Now, right here, what you can do is tap on background color and actually customize the color of the widget right here. You can add all kinds of different colors. And of course, if you want to reset the default one, you just tap right there. And then all of that will be applied to the home screen widget. And you will have here a display of the total numbers of subscribers of your favorite channel. And last but not least is word of the day. Now, this is more of a simple one. If you like to learn new words, of course, this will display every day a new word. Sometimes words are more interesting, of course, probably words that you didn't know. Sometimes they are just random words that we use every day. But you can see right here, it shows the word and it shows the explanation about that word. Now you can tap on it. It will take you to the app. You can list how it sounds by just tapping right there. And of course, you will see different synonymous about that word. And you can also translate it with Google if you want to translate it into a different language. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some really awesome home screen widgets that I believe everyone must download on their device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys on the next one